Hi there, YouTube. Welcome back to the second session for practicing functional group identification. So if you have not gone through the first practice session, I would suggest you try that one. It's similar to this one. This is just additional practice identifying functional groups. So again, I have four organic compounds here. Your goal is to go through, pause the video, identify any potential functional groups that you see here, and then you should unpause it and walk through the answers with me. So I will see you guys in just a minute. All right, everybody, welcome back. I am going to switch to my red ink and we'll get started here. So in number one, we have alcohol. And just in case, um, just in case anybody missed the original portion, there is an entire lecture that goes over all of this material. So it talks about functional groups and functional group identification and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I strongly encourage that you watch that. Um, we have amine here, and then we also have an alkene. I'm missing an O here in my alcohol. Okay. Here I've got an alkyne with the triple bond. This would be benzene, so I'm going to label this one as aromatic. You could have also labeled this as an arene or as an aryl functional group. This guy right here, ketone, that's an R C double bond O R group. Over here I have an aldehyde. Right here I have an alkene. This would be an ether. And this right here would be an alkyl halide because I have a iodine attached to the end of the alkyl chain. So again, here I've got another alcohol, right? This portionality, you have to catch the fact that there's an oxygen in there. And so this is an ester, if I were to look at it as a whole. And then this portion portionality, which is separate, would be an ether. So those are all of the uh, proper answers. And I hope you guys found this useful. Again, go back and check out the other lessons if you need more practice on this, if you need to review this material. Otherwise, thank you very much. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys for the next lectures where we are going to get started on acid-base chemistry in terms of organic compounds. So I will see you guys there, and thanks a lot.